So this is why I think the stock market is about to make new highs. What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions. And very quickly, this is the NASDAQ index. Uh, this has an overall focus on the NASDAQ uh, market, which has a big focus on tech stocks. Uh, so I would find it very difficult to believe that you had somewhat of a difficult or red day uh, with just today's market conditions, especially if you're invested in tech. Uh, Tesla closed in the green, but then it quickly pulled on back after market hours. AMC, um, PTON, DKNG, a lot of the stocks that uh, we've been watching for quite some time. Actually, one of the stocks that you guys uh, chose for me to invest in pushed up 6% today. So how many of you guys watched that uh, Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather uh, fight yesterday? So DraftKings was, of course, a big sponsor. We saw a big spike up 6% overall on the day alone. I sold half of my position. So a quick little update for you guys. I had a total of 425 shares due to the nice push that we experienced today. I sold a portion of it, but that's just to prepare if it does pull back that I can buy more. Also, on top of that, when it comes down to my AMC position, today was an amazing day for AMC. Very easy, right? I have a total of 2,900 shares. We did a very good job holding above the EMA line. If you guys remember following up with last week's video, that's essentially what, we're, what we were looking for is to see if AMC can hold above this four hour EMA and continue that momentum as it's a momentum stock, right? Uh, so I have a total of $159,000 invested. I made a total of $23,000 today. Uh, and the last stock that I wanna talk about is Tesla. So Tesla, of course, being a very popular stock, uh, you can see that it shows that it's pretty much break even. It keeps going back and forth uh, because of how it was up. It closed up uh, on the day 1% but it pulled back 1% during the aftermarket hours. So it pretty much took it back literally to where it opened at, uh, which is, you know, uh, or where it closed at on Friday, my apologies. Uh, one of the other quick updates is um, on my Fidelity account. So today, because of the amazing recovery, a lot of you guys know, based off of my video on Friday, I bought Tesla and then sold Tesla. And today as Tesla hit lows of, if I'm not mistaken, it hit lows of like, 583 585 i began to load up on it and we can look at this on the one day one minute chart and you can see that tesla hit overall lows of 582 so i saw it to be a good deal i began to load up on tesla not on my webull account but on my fidelity account and actually before the market closed i ended up selling a couple of shares as we broke above that 600 dollar price point why you might ask is although the overall nasdaq market is showing signs of an overall uptrend, I wanna make sure that when it comes down to my Tesla position, I only sold a total of 500 shares, right? And the reason I did that is I still have a total of 1,300 shares invested in Tesla. So if it continues to go up, just like the NASDAQ market, then we're you know good, right? But I don't wanna have so much money invested in Tesla that if it pulls on back, I have no more money to buy at the lower levels, right? Just trying to set my future self up for success. And that's all this video is, is there's a lot of stocks this upcoming week that are going to be reporting earnings. So just a little heads up, up on that as well as one of the things that we're looking for on the nasdaq market is look at this resistance level that we have you know experienced before right right around that fourteen thousand dollar price point we pulled on back to the sma line we pushed up we pulled back we validated the sma line which is this green line right here as a support and it bounced right up, right? It made new 180 day highs at 14,211. It pulled on back, all of tech pulled back. This is why I'm saying this, right? As all of tech pulled back, everyone was freaking out. Guess what we did? Remember all those videos that I made about, it's time to buy now for our future self. I invested in stocks like Spotify, Twitter, Pinterest, Peloton, Tesla, um, and they are playing out pretty well as the tech market begins to recover and as we hold above the sesame line so we pulled back a little bit last week but we quickly recovered now we're on our way on making new highs which is essentially what we did last time which is a step in the right direction so it's not that the market has to recover it's just showing strong signs of a support and showing strong signs of higher highs and higher lows, which is a step in the right direction. So I'm super excited to follow up with tech. If we continue to see that these overall tech stocks continue to indicate signs of an uptrend, you guys can see that I have nearly 100,000 in PTON. I have nearly 60,000 in Pinterest. My goal is by the time that the overall market hits all-time highs, that I am at least $100,000 invested in AT&T, Netflix, Spotify, Twitter, Pinterest, Peloton. And the reason why is if and only if 
it begins to indicate signs of an uptrend, then that would actually make sense to invest in these companies. So that's what I'm really excited for. Uh, but of course, I have so much money invested in Tesla that that's the position that I wasn't super uh, eager to have a super heavy position on. Uh, so I lightened up my position and I sold 500 shares today. Uh, and they're the same 500 shares that I bought at that 585 level. Um, and I pretty much just day traded with those 500 shares. So Overall, uh, very happy with my performance on my Fidelity account. And of course, I'm super excited to follow up with the overall NASDAQ market, the overall tech market, and of course, uh, the hype stocks right now, AMC and GME um, had extremely green days. Just know that these two specific stocks come at a much greater form of risk. I wouldn't recommend them for beginners. They're a high risk, high reward type of territory, but it's a step in the right direction, validating the EMA line as a support. And we'll see if that direction and if that rally continues, drop a thumbs up if you're excited to see AMC break and make new highs. So altogether, I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also, I'd love for you guys uh, to join our live trading session tomorrow. I host a live trading session every single day at Market Open. And if you want to tune on in, click the second link down below, learn a little bit more about the Learn Plan Profit Group. And if you find it to be a good fit for you, I'll see you tomorrow at Market Open. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.